the more you give, the more you get. And what you do to help people is all there is, the love you show. When the kids come on board, Alex takes the time to re review with them what they're going to be doing. And he shows them the little vacuum cleaner. He shows them the little cotton pillows that we put in their mouth. I take this teeny tiny paintbrush. I, I dip it in the ceiling paint, and then I paint you too, just like that. With a full team, we're able to see about 20 to 25 children a day. The dental sealants are plastic coatings that we put on the molar teeth to help protect them from decay. We designed this program with the help of uh, Marjorie S. Fisher and uh, her daughter Julie Cummings. Coming onto the dental coach gives them a little fun, gives them some things that they're gonna carry for the rest of their life about brushing and flossing and their time on the tooth fairy. And we know that we're making a difference because of her. You should probably have also a degree in business. Did you declare a major yet? Really the mission of Take Stock is to passionately promote self-worth and personal responsibility and academic success for financially at-risk middle school and high school students. Let's say you already have your college degree. You should find an internship, even if it's not paid, get a job on the side and start from the bottom and work your way up. Right now we have 425 students in middle school and high school and 287 students in college. 90% are first-generation college students, 70% are first-generation really? high school graduates. Mrs. Fisher and Julie Cummings became sponsors of our first Take Stock in Children, Fisher Scholars. They are providing the students with all of our services, but more importantly, they're changing the culture of, of these families. When a sibling sees that their older sibling is now getting ready to go to college, it's changing the whole family. What Mrs. Fisher and Julie Cummings are doing is they're giving them hope for a brighter future and hope to break the cycle of poverty. As you go to the club today, you're going to see a beautiful new facility that was actually provided by the Fisher family. There's a full decked out gymnasium where our kids can play sports. Here at the Boys and Girls Clubs, we provide the caring role models that the kids need in order to learn all the skills um, that they need to learn to become those productive citizens. The teens that come to our club do outperform their peers. Uh, they graduate from high school. They are prepared to go to college. In 2007, Mrs. Fisher felt compelled to come and visit the club. And she did that, and by the time that she left, she had it set in her mind that she was going to build a club to match the shiny, bright faces of our kids. Shortly after that, she decided that not only were they going to build the West Palm Beach Club, but they were also going to build a club in Riviera Beach. The Max in Riviera Beach and the Marjorie in West Palm Beach are the only clubs in Boys and Girls Club history that are named after both a husband and a wife these beautiful new 22,000 square foot facilities have allowed us to bring more children into our clubs. I want to thank Mrs. Fisher and Julie for all the love and generosity that they've shared with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Palm Beach County and with the organizations around the world. They have not only left an impression, but they have left an imprint with the lives of our children. Mrs. Fisher and Julie, congratulations.